What is up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. Just another quick video. Uh, and again, if you like this content, uh, you like the fishing videos, you like these how-to videos, please like, subscribe, share, uh, and please comment. You know, I want to know what you think about these things. If you have uh, other thoughts on the subject, some new information, whatever it is, uh, you know, please feel free. I try to respond to everybody. Uh, and I will have some fishing videos coming soon, but for now, I'm still in Colorado, and it's a little bit snowy out there. Um, but uh, because of the weather, it made me think about one specific lure that has been like gangbusters to me on any water that I've fished. And I fished from California to Florida, um, fished uh, the Midwest, fished out here in Colorado, Missouri, um, Texas. I fished all over the place. And what I found is there is one specific lure that you can use at every body of water, whether it's... Um, you know, fresh water, these big reservoirs in California where I fish mostly, um, whether it's Table Rock Lake in Missouri, uh, I'm going to put that video up here so you can check that out, or whether it's Florida, and I mean bass fishing in Florida, uh, or uh, saltwater fishing, inshore stuff, whatever it is, there's one single lure that you can use and one way of fishing it, and you will get it all over the country. Um, and no, it's not the Senko, because the Senko... Um, as much as I love it and as much as it could be my favorite bass technique of all time, um, it, it doesn't always work, you know, in all these different locations. And again, I'm also thinking this could be used for, uh, saltwater applications as well, but it's almost like if, if all else fails and you can't get them on any other way, this one way will do it. And I know this specifically, and again, I thought about this because of this cold weather, you know, I fished Table Rock Lake uh, April a couple of years ago, and uh, it was snowing. It was that how, that's how cold it was, and I found this area that I I thought the fish it was a secondary point near this marina, and I could have swore this would have been, been the perfect spot for them to come off this lake. Table Rock Lake is a very unique lake, and I fished all kinds of different spots that day, uh, all over the place from shallow little coves and stuff like that um, to some of the open water. Um, and I found this interesting little area and I just could have swore there was fish in there. And I was determined to try everything to try to catch those fish. And eventually when I figured it out, I just hammered them and just was catching fish the entire day. And again, it was snowing out. It was very, very cold. And I still managed to catch a ton of fish. So check out that video if you haven't, because it is really cool. But here it is. So the one bait, if the Sanko's not working, if the drop shot's not working, uh, if your jerk baits and your crank baits and your top water and your frogs and none of that stuff is working, if you're using live bait and that's not working, check this out. Here it is. You ready? It is the Kitek. Okay. Now I know there's lots of little swim baits that are similar to this, you know, little paddle tails and stuff like that. But for whatever reason, I have found the Kitek to just be incredible. I put this on a little jig head. This is what I did um, in uh, in Missouri when I was fishing Table Rock. I put it on a tiny little jig head. There it is right here, just like this, okay? And I had a very light line. I had eight pound um, fluorocarbon on there and that was it. I just let this sucker sink to the bottom. I just let this sucker sink to the bottom popped it up, popped it up, and I was getting hammered on it. A lot of times they would bite it before it even hit the bottom. So, you know, obviously it mimics a little fish, and, you know, a little fish is one of the main forages of, of bass, whether it's your um, shad or your silver sides or, you know, all kinds of minnows that they have all over the country, you know, little, little bait fish of some kind, um, fry, whatever it is. This thing works. So I put on a little round jig head. You know, there's there's other ways of fishing it. I've got like this little swim head here. You know, this is a little bit bigger so I can cast it a little bit farther and make it swim a little bit more. At Castaic, it worked, um, you know, into coves where kind of wind is blowing around the corners and the, the water's a little murky. Those things worked great. Um, or if they're really chasing the shad, you know, this thing worked great. So, uh, you know, the, the Kitek, man, it is, this color specifically is the... Um, I'm sorry. This is the Swim Impact 3.5 
Uh, I got some 2.5s and the color is electric shad. And I found that, that just, you know, it just looks like a shad color. You know, it's a little darker on the top and a little lighter on the bottom. Uh, and it just swims great. And try different sizes because depending on you're matching the hatch, you know, especially like a Castaic, man, sometimes the, the whatever they're chasing, little shad or silver size, sometimes they're only this big. Um, so, you know, get yourself an, an assortment of the sizes of Kitek. I've got some larger ones too, not on me, but I do have some of the larger Kitex, like the four inchers, um, you know, and, you know, they all work and they've worked from Florida to Missouri to California to Colorado. These little things really, really work. So get some jig heads. You know, I think this is a maybe a quarter ounce. You know, I like, I tend to like the smaller sort of jig heads, um, especially if you're using light line. Um, you know, so that is it real quick. That was it. Just one of my favorite, favorite baits to use. It has just been successful everywhere. Um, you can, you can rig these on the drop shot as well, especially, you know, some of these lakes where they're targeting all these minnows and the shad and all that stuff, or when it's shad season, whatever it is, you know, you hook this just barely nose hook it with a tiny little drop shot hook. You know, I like to use the little owner mosquito hooks, size six or size four, depending I'm gonna put links to all this stuff down below so you can order it right off the bat and it does help the channel by doing that too. So um, there you go. Yeah, so you can um, use these for drop shot as well. You know, just kind of nose hook it and let it, you know, kind of drift along. Caught tons of bass doing that too. Uh, and you can catch some good sized fish doing this too. So that is it. The Kitek, one of my favorite and most versatile baits for every condition all over the country. Boom. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. I'll see you tomorrow.